There are many ways to add multiple pictures to one page and display all of them. Let's look at these three. Now these are generally the same size. They're all the same dimensions, same resolution. But we would like to put them on one page, let's say eight and a half by eleven sheet, and have a brief description of each picture. We'll start up here where it says file new and create the blank new page on which we're going to place all of these images. We'll call this page 01 and there's preset sizes we can choose. Let's choose letter. That'll be 8.5 inches wide by 11 high uh, RGB color 8 bit color profile that's fine we'll leave that as is now these pictures might not be the same resolution as that page so let's check image image size okay these are 72 pixels per inch so ideally we would like to have these pictures at the same resolution at which we created going to image size for page one this one okay now 300 pixels per inch is great for printing out when you want to print something on paper it's very crisp 72 is good for the monitor looks lousy when you're printing on uh, paper for demonstration purposes let's make sure that we're consistent so let's say we're gonna make one page here and we're gonna post this or we're gonna email this so we want to make sure that resolution which I highlighted here is 72 because we wanted to match the pictures now if you have these pictures at 300 pixels per inch definitely use them but for this case we won't use them because they'll end up being way too small in fact let me show you so I undid that image size this blank page is now at 300 pixels per inch the way it originally was now watch this I'm gonna bring up one of the pictures let's go to the move tool up here then we're gonna drag it into this box see how tiny that is it's very small very small nice postage stamp you could say so we're gonna undo that let's undo drag layer image image size 72 okay now move this little window here this window here got the move tool drag fits much better next zoom in there a little bit more you can use the magnifying tool or you can just hit control or apple plus on your keyboard or apple minus if you do use the magnifying tool you will have to in order to zoom out so otherwise you just keep clicking and you get closer and closer you will need to hold down the alt option key while you do that great let's grab this little boy here go back to that move tool drag him into here let's grab these uh, two find people drag them into here just move rearrange them now it's very important that if you notice I want to move him but I won't be able to move these two well that's because in the layer palette that third layer that I just dropped is highlighted so let's click once on the little boy in the layer palette now we can move him okay let's resize these to fit Another, and before we do that though, I would like to mention that we can auto select the layer, which is kind of neat when you have these uh, just plain images and not many of them here. So when I click on, the, on them, it automatically, watch this, automatically selects the layer. Look in the layer palette there. As I'm clicking on each one of these pictures, that layer is automatically selected. So click the house we'll say the house 
the the building here is the it's not a feature picture so we'll make it smaller we'll make it smaller so I'm, I got that house selected here in the layer palette now we'll go to edit free transform and you see it changes the options bar up here to some settings let's manually enter in highlight this 100% width to 50 I'm gonna hit I hit tab on the keyboard hit the other 50 then click this checkbox this checkbox right here yeah, made it smaller okay and move this one here and let's get the little boy down here okay and do another edit transform changing again up here we'll say we'll make him 75 percent it's always nice when you have photos have them of different sizes hit the checkbox okay there he is here's the couple in the middle okay and the building here now to do a caption choose the type tool specifically the horizontal type tool if you have Photoshop CS choose a color right here let's stick with black so we'll get a default color by just clicking the little black and white squares right there and up here in the options bar it tells us what our font is and what the size is click right here next to this and you see I got a cursor now and I can type this was where we started stritted started then after I like that well you know what I don't like all caps so let's do this let's select it all double click right here right on the text click this little palette right here this button this brings up our our uh, our type palette Okay, and if we look at this, we have small caps chosen in this button. So I click this button. See, there we go. But the font's too big. So let's change the size from 32 to about 18. Zoom out. There we go. Now I can hit the checkbox up here. there we have it now from here I can save it I can rearrange I can move this text I can do another text uh, information right here all kinds of things but this is one way there's many other ways to go about doing this but for the typical for the average user that doesn't have professional experience using Photoshop this might be a very useful technique